Realistic weekly outfits. If you're new here, hi, I'm Bunny. To pick up an appropriate outfit, we need to know the fact. So here are the facts. It is raining. It's just it's gonna be windy. We do live in the windy city, so it makes sense. And it's six degrees. I'm gonna do a leather skirt. I know what you're thinking, but trust me. Trust me. During the summer, I'm not gonna be able to wear it. A sweater, because I'm not crazy. I have these socks. I think it goes perfectly. Links are gonna be in the description box, but today I had to run errands with my husband. Isn't that lovely? So while he was being fabulous, I was trying not to be bored and I'm showcasing you here my outfit of the day. It ended up working out. Also, I convinced my husband to take a couple snaps and I edited it with my Lightroom preset. It's gonna be below the video. Thank you, Mike. The next day I went for rock and roll leggings. And yes, I actually washed that shirt, so don't worry. If I'm gonna be a rock and roll star, I need stars in my outfit. Jean jacket and funky shoes that you're gonna see in a minute. And yes, my rock and roll outfit was to simply go to the grocery store. I know, it's not that exciting and rock and roll, but you know, this is a realistic video. I did this video in the grocery store parking lot and here are the photos I took myself. The next day, I wanted to experiment with this red blazer. I wanted to keep it safe, so I chose black trousers and a black t-shirt, but I think I end up looking like the character Lucifer, which is definitely not the vibe that I was going for, so we're gonna scratch that. So I end up playing with primary colors. I chose blue and then the white just to keep it kind of neutral. So this is nothing crazy, but I do think that it works. You might be wondering, what about proportions? And I will say that I, I don't care. It's kind of a really big trend to use oversized things and I'm really into it, so I'm willing to sacrifice for that. I also experimented with another outfit and I want to show you the TikTok version of it. I wasn't so shy, I will wear this. Uh, who cares, let's try it. Okay, we're gonna start with this. To have a similar shape, I'm gonna wear a swimsuit. Uh, and I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I think it's a little bit too small for my chest. I'm gonna go for the blazer. This red blazer, it's making me less uncomfortable. I don't think I gotta go to a supermarket like this, but, but if the swimsuit was a little bit bigger, I think I will feel differently. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. The next day, I went for green pants and this shirt that it's, it's gonna be hard to link it because it's quite old, but I love the patterns. Those boots were actually super cheap. I'm gonna link them below. And personally, I really like the way that I style my hair and the makeup. It's a like really clean girl look. I did a video about that. And then I added a coat because it was actually raining and I needed to go to the camera store, which honestly was such a waste of time. But I did look cute. I don't know if you gather, but I'm trying to let you in a little bit on the daily thing because sometimes I will recreate an outfit that it looks really good in photos, but it's just not manageable to go outside with this. And this video is a little bit different. This video is all about like actually wearable things, which makes a little bit more sense. If this is being helpful, give it a like. Another cute thing that I really liked was the mix of prints. So it was very subtle, but you can definitely see it there. I, I was absolutely in love with it. If you want to see more photos of this look, follow me on Instagram. The next day it was raining again. I thought that April showers brings May flowers, but it's May already, like late May, so I don't know. But I decided on a sleek black dress and raining boots and the same coat because, you know, we repeat during the week because it's accessible. <laughs> I actually made a video on this particular photo and I'm gonna link it here. But one thing that I really liked about this look is that I was able to have like a sexy slit and then I used for my photos the umbrella as a prop, so. But this dress is one of those dresses that you can actually wear it as a wedding guest if you want and also you can wear it like everyday life. It really depends on your accessories, it, which it's a plus plus for me. And then the next day things were looking better and I was so inspired by the green tree next to my house that actually I realized that I have almost all the outfits are green. That may have a meaning but I have no idea what the meaning is. We could do basic but I'm not really feeling it. What about this green? I actually think I like this green better and I do like this oversized everything. For accessories, I think I'm gonna do small earrings, layering necklaces, and this. I was thinking about adding this, but it might be a little bit too much. I couldn't make a decision. <laughs> so I'm just wearing them both. Sandals, 
and this bag. I'm officially a treat and this will be the look. Actually for these photos I ended up pulling the sweater out, I changed my mind for no reason. And here are the photos that I took with the outfit because I really thought it looked like simple but it felt a little bit more interesting with the green. And then on my Sunday look, there's not really comments. I didn't feel like going crazy and this is just me with my cat. Quick question for you, look at this video. I need to show you one of the coolest things I've got this year. Directly from a unicorn world. <laughs> Have any idea on how to style it? Do you can mix it with all these colors. It's so cool. So let me know in the comments how will you style it and maybe we can sell it together for the next video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to keep hanging out, click the subscribe button. Love you forever.